Good morning from NASA's Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. It's uh, Tuesday, August 22nd, 2012. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room uh, from the front of the room, looking across the uh, consoles of the flight control team members who are supporting the uh, orbit shift team today that is working throughout the day supporting activities aboard the International Space Station. In the room today overseeing the team is once again uh, Flight Director Brian Smith. You see him there in the white uh, shirt. He is joined uh, on console by um, veteran astronaut Anna Fisher. She's serving as the spacecraft communicator or the CAPCOM. She is the voice link between the flight control team and the crew uh, aboard the International Space Station. The space station currently uh, tracking about 254 miles above the Earth, tracking uh, northeasterly across uh, Bolivia. We'll pass high above Brazil and then out across the uh, Atlantic Ocean. The next coastal crossing, the northwest uh, coastline of Portugal, will track across Spain, France, and uh, much of your European nations before heading out across Russia, Kazakhstan, into an orbital sunset. Uh, from this vantage point, the station is circling the Earth about uh, every 92 minutes, offering an orbital sunrise and sunset uh, to the crew members uh, aboard the International Space Station that make up the um, Expedition 32 crew. Uh, that crew uh, arrived at the station at uh, two different times. The uh, three of the crew members, uh, including Commander Gennady Padalka, Flight Engineer Sergei Revan, and Flight Engineer Joe Acaba, arrived at the station back uh, in mid-May aboard their Soyuz TMA-04M spacecraft. They are slated to uh, return home in uh, mid-September. Their uh, return home uh, date right now is uh, Sunday, September 16th. Those three crew members have been aboard the station now uh, 98 days. Today marks their 100th day in space. The other three uh, crew members that uh, joined those three back in mid-July about a month ago are uh, Flight Engineers Yuri Malenchenko and uh, Flight Engineers Sonny Williams. Uh, also flight engineer Akihiko Hoshide, Aki Hoshide representing the J uh, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Uh, Sonny Williams, of course, a U.S. astronaut, Malenchenko, a Russian cosmonaut. So the uh, six crew members uh, day began. Uh, they've restored their uh, wake and sleep uh, schedules to their pretty much normal times, which is uh, they wake up about 1 o'clock in the morning and go to bed about 4.30 each afternoon, U.S. Central Time. Uh, they have focused their attention today on uh, activities in the Russian segment for the Russian colleagues, including a, uh, a very detailed debrief of the spacewalk that was uh, conducted uh, on Monday by um, Padalka and Malenchenko. That uh, five hour, 51 minute spacewalk uh, uh, provided them uh, a great deal of, uh, of uh, background to provide to the teams on the ground. They've been talking to their flight control team about that. In the meantime, Sonny Williams uh, and Aki Oshide, who will be performing a US based spacewalk um, on August 30th, are um, back in the US Airlock Quest. Uh, they are preparing tools and uh, the spacesuits that they will wear for their spacewalk, uh, again planned for August 30th, to uh, uh, replace a faulty power relay unit on the station's truss structure. They'll also route some power cables for the um, Russian uh, scientific laboratory that will replace the pier's docking compartment. And they'll also uh, replace, uh, remove and replace a failing camera that's out on the um, Canadian uh, provided Canadarm2 robotic arm that makes up the station's uh, robotic work um, station on the outside of the complex. In addition, there's scientific activity going on inside the station. Uh, Joe Acaba's been working pretty extensively with uh, another experiment um, in the U.S. Uh, laboratory, the uh, BCAT experiment, which is the binary colloidal, colloidal alloy test. The um, test today is uh, the uh, colloidal science on the International Space Station supporting the Canadian science mission aboard ISS, uh, known as BCAT-C1. Uh, so he's been working very detailed uh, activities associated with that in support of uh, that experiment. So a busy day for the crew aboard the station as they uh, head through their uh, midweek of activities aboard the orbiting complex.